But now let's also tell you the news just coming in right there on China's television. I'd like to tell you that President Muhammad Buhari is back in Nigeria. The president's uh, presidential jet departed London, the United Kingdom, according to earlier today, uh, according to information coming from the villa. The president attended the 72nd General Assembly of the United Nations. He left last week for London. The president made a stopover in the United Kingdom for some days and is now back in the country. Now, to our major story. Senator Dino Melaye is back in the news. The embattled senator reacted through his lawyer after a federal high court in Abuja ordered the continuation of the suspended recall process. Don't forget that um, some of his constituents are asking the senator to come back home. The senator had kept mum since then. Today, he broke his silence. There's been a lot of back and forth on this matter. The electoral body said the senator has been quite evasive, and that is why he's not being served. The senator said he's not evading being served of any purported petition. Today, he held a press conference. Hear him now. I, Senator Dino Melaye, is not evading the service of any purported petition on me by INEC. As a matter of fact, my lawyer, Chief Mike Ozakome, SAN, served on INEC a notice to produce the said petition in the course of the hearing of this matter. INEC failed, refused, and neglected to produce the said petition in court. I haven't failed to produce it in court. They are chasing me around now that they want to serve me. I, Senator Dino Melaye, have also instructed my lawyer to challenge the jurisdiction of the trial court to entertain an ex parte application for service on me. Not of any court process, but of the very petition, which INEC itself had failed to give to me or to produce in court after due notice to produce same was served on it. My lawyer has filed the objection which ought to be determined before the trial court could hear the said strange ex parte application. It is curious to note that even the trial judge never saw the petition surprisingly. He relied on his uh, he relied on in-house analysis purportedly carried out by INEC itself in the cozy confines and dark recesses of its office. The petition purportedly exhibited by INEC in court was only signed by three persons as against 188,000 plus registered voters emphasized by the Constitution. That, in my view, that, sorry, that in my view of the lapse of time, I shall no longer be in a haste to take any further step in this matter so as not to be seen to have aided any party, especially the Independent National Electoral Commission, in its continued blatant breach of the provisions of the Constitution which I have sworn to uphold. Conclusion. I celebrate the obituary of the Made in Taiwan recall exercise while sympathizing with the induced petitioners who will obviously face charges of forgery and criminal charges before the court of law very, very, very soon. Senator Dino Melay there, I'm very sad in that a lot of you right now, glued to your television, you're trying to wrap your head around what exactly is all of this and how it's happening so fast. Well, we approached INEC on this matter, and INEC did say they wouldn't want to join issues on this matter as the case is in court. You know what lawyers say? Uh, it's prejudice. Uh, they do not want to uh, join issues. That's what INEC is saying. But they, do, uh, they did tell Channel Television that in all of this, that the interpretation that they got from the court is the fact that the moment when that case went to court, there was a moment where the process was paused, and after the court gave an order, the case was supposed to have restarted. 
Let's get uh, perspective onto this matter. Uh, when we get uh, some kind of legal issue, we always turn to uh, some of our legal friends uh, who are regular analysts on the program. Daniel Buala joins us to give us a sense of what this may mean. It looks so confusing, isn't it, Mr. Buala? Thank you so much for joining us. What do you make of it? You can hear what Senator Dino Melaye says. Now, he's alleging a collusion with his opposition, INEC and his opposition. What do you make of this, Mr. Buala? Well, uh, th thank you for having me. The assertion that because the matter, uh, the number of the days had elapsed by virtue of the fact that the matter was in court, therefore they are out of the 180 as provided by the Constitution, in my opinion, is mischievous. And it is largely misconceived. The reason is because there is in law what is called the doctrine of necessity. Doctrine of necessity is the application of the law having regard to the circumstances of the case. And I'll give you instances. For example, in the Electoral Act, it is clearly stated, as you can see even in the guidelines of INEC, that governorship election tribunal were to be conducted, I mean, tribunal were to sit in their respective states. But in 2015 to 2016, you will see how that governorship tribunal had to sit in Abuja because of the crisis in those respective states. And when the matter went right up to the Court of Appeal and to the Supreme Court, they affirmed the position that the application of the doctrine of necessity permits uh, permit that.